Nigel, what's, what's the reaction? Relief or happiness? Uh, frustration. Um, very pleased that we've uh, had the result, but uh, we didn't perform anywhere near what we expected. Um, I was a little guarded going into, into this game that that might be the case, and we spoke about it all week, but uh, we didn't kick on really. And um, you know, in fairness to Glasgow, I thought they played uh, very well uh, in the contact area in particular. They probably were a lot better than us. But we had we had opportunities. We looked to create chances, and we just weren't accurate enough. Given the two team selections, and keep in mind, was there maybe even an element of complacency? Well, that's what I was alluding to earlier. You know, I was um, a little bit guarded that that might be the case. We'd spoken about it all week, um, but uh, for whatever reason, you know, we didn't turn up in the right frame of mind. Was that because of next week? I don't know what it was. I think um, it was a difficult Christmas period, and you know, we come off uh, some success in the two derbies. Um, uh, probably we felt we just turn up and, and play, and uh, that wasn't the case today. You know, it was a very gritty Glasgow side. Uh, they've done very well, that team. They've come here. I, I think they've uh, beaten the Blues and drawn with the Dragons, almost identical side to that. So they're a very, very good outfit. They've got strength and depth. Um, uh, and we just weren't on our game, and they were. How worried were you in the second half? Uh, I wasn't worried, I was just you know, trying to make sense of what was going on in the game. But yeah, you know, in fairness, they put a lot of pressure on us. We just we had loads of opportunities that we just didn't, uh, didn't take. And we were far too, too sloppy with the ball. Um, we didn't get over five or six phases really until uh, late on in the second half. Um, and we've got to be hard on ourselves. It's a W, it's great, that's what we wanted. And uh, I would have taken the three wins that we've had if somebody had offered them at the, uh, over the Christmas period. But uh, we've got to be hard on ourselves. We want to kick on, we want to become better. And that wasn't the step forward in terms of our performance. This period's put you up into the playoff places then? Yes, yeah, I've said it's great. You know, that we, we're, we're great that it's, we're in a position where we've lost a game, uh, we've won a game of rugby, but it feels like we've lost, um, which is where you want to be really, and um, it'll be a good week next week, we can get a real focus around this team, and obviously we, we swap competitions, but uh, it's a huge challenge for us, uh, with Northampton coming here, I'm sure, uh, we're all going to blaze in, um, and we know we've got to step it up a couple of notches. How different will you be mentally next week? I'd like to think we'll be a lot different yeah. to this week, yeah. And maybe how different will they be from the last time? They'll be hurting from that one, won't they? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they will. Um, it'll make for a great contest you know, next Saturday. Um, it was also great today to see so many, um, so many of our supporters here. You know, there's over nine thousand for the game against Glasgow. That's great for us. It's got to be a record for us. And uh, I think you know, the momentum that the boys are showing on the field has been matched by by our supporters. You knew what was going on here before that Northampton game, but that was probably the game that made the rest of Europe sit up and take notice to a fairly large degree. How important is it to back it up next week? Oh, it's very important. You know, it's very, very important. Um, as I keep saying, we are very focused on getting into playoffs this year. We've still got the opportunity to do that in um, in Europe, whether it's in Heineken or in the Amlin, and that's, uh, that's very important for this group of players because they need to experience that and uh, we need to give ourselves a chance to do that. Um, but as I say, I'm sure the whole group will be in a completely different place come next week. Has it done you favour in a way, Nigel? Could have. Yeah. We'll see. We'll <laughs> see next week. Yeah. Um, we, we, we're not firing at the moment, you know, particularly with the ball. We're not firing at all. Our game without it is uh, keeping us in games. Yeah. Um, we've got a lot of ability on, on the park, and we're just not showing up uh, well enough right now. So um, hopefully we can uh, we can put things right this week. Because you've got this reputation as you know one of the most entertaining back divisions in particular, yeah. and you're not quite clicking there at the moment. Though. No, not at all. Um, and we know that. Uh, yeah, we've got a huge, huge amount of talent there, but we need something to gel that talent together. Yeah. Sean, the right, he came off. Who, you know? He had a calf strain, so we didn't want to risk him. And uh, right. same with uh, with Gareth, he had a bit of a groin strain. Nothing too serious, but we just wanted to uh, protect them really.